Hello everyone, we're going to go over move 71 here, we're going to answer Magnus' question regarding the mount. He's talking about the head and arm choke, and he's having a hard time getting underneath his opponent. A lot of times your opponent is doing exactly this, right here, what John is doing. He's trying to, you know, just protect his neck. He's in a very defensive mode, he's not really necessarily trying to escape. And he's right, it's not always easy to get an underhook when your opponent is doing this. I'll give you a few tips. One is I have to, if this elbow is glued to his body, it might be too low for me to get my shoulder in there so I can start opening up with my own forearm. So let's, I'll go for the top arm, exactly where John is right here, right? So I can't get, if his arm were high, were high I could get my shoulder in there and push it down that way. But if it's slower, I'm going to have to get my forearm. And the trick is not to try to push, I'm not strong enough, it's to lean. Look where my toes are, I'm going to push off my toes to make myself a little bit heavier. And I, I give it that lean with my body weight. You see how I beat his arm? So that's one way of opening his arm. I get my forearm right below his his uh, uh, his forearm. I go as low as possible. I can't get my chest and my own shoulder in there, but I can get my forearm. And that's how I open it up. The problem is if I just go straight for an underhook here, there's nothing stopping John from pummeling, and that's gonna happen when you go live. So there's a trick here. So once I open him up, what I do is I hold his wrist. I keep my arm on the mat. I sneak my head underneath his arm. That way I don't give him the room to re-pummel. So it basically it's like I'm trying to, you know, I'm just like sneaking my head in there. It's almost like I'm trying to force him to grab the back of my neck. If he's grabbing the back of my neck, that's perfect. So he's in here, lean, 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 lean. I use my thumb to control his arm. I can begin to push like this, but as soon as I'm gonna wrap that, that, that arm around the back of my neck, I make sure I give him, uh, use my thumb so I don't lose that forearm. Lean, 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 give it that little drive. I open up my thumb, look where my head goes. I sneak my way in there. Okay. Once I have this, I can start working for the head and arm. I'm gonna show you guys briefly how we finish that head and arm. So. Just adjust, adjust. Another way of practicing that head and arm is not connect your hands. Just to make sure you learn how to use your body weight to finish instead of trying to squeeze to finish. Uh, if you're doing it correctly, you don't even have to connect your hands.